Well, we're Dave and Chris Colson. We're from Durham, Maine, and uh, we've been farming here in Durham since 1982. I started the farm with my parents in 1982. We started marketing in 83, and uh, we've been marketing chiefly to restaurants and uh, natural food stores ever since then. We're cultivating 12 acres. Uh, three and a half acres are in vegetables. The rest are in uh, green manure rotations for uh, soil fertility. All of our produce goes off farm. We deliver to the Portland area twice a week. And that makes it easier for us to schedule the rest of the week for harvesting two days a week and cultivating, maintaining the fields, the crops. Currently, we've got two natural food stores and about five restaurants that we deliver to. In addition, we've added a couple of food buying clubs or food co-ops to take the place of one very large cooperative natural food store, which closed last year. We started marketing, uh, going to farmer's markets back in the, the early days. And uh, my dad did a lot of the uh, actual farmer's market uh, selling. Um, he didn't like sitting at farmer's market. Uh, he's an active kind of guy and uh, we found by the end of the market prices were dropping and uh, we didn't feel like we were getting the price that we needed to get for our vegetables. Uh, so my dad uh, knocked on a couple back doors of uh, health food stores and uh, knocked on the door of a couple restaurants that we knew chefs of and uh, they were all eager to take the produce and uh, so we have been marketing pretty much to restaurants since then. We felt that a, uh, uh, for the, the quality and the type of vegetables that we were growing, um, which in some ways are, are probably a little bit unusual for a lot of people, uh, especially when you get in originally into the mescal and salad mixes, uh, that what we were looking for was an educated consumer. And uh, we found that the chefs were about as educated a food consumer as we could find. We've noticed that chefs talk to each other. Uh, our names will be passed around. And one of the best ways we've found to pick up restaurant uh, accounts is with the culinary herbs, having fresh culinary herbs. Um, we sometimes will deliver just culinary herbs to a restaurant for a period of time, and then they will suddenly discover that, oh, we're growing lettuce and other things as well. Uh, so that's a great way to get your foot in the door. There were a few things that we tried that didn't really work out for us. We tried marketing to some larger outlets, uh, colleges, uh, stores and whatnot, bigger restaurants. Um, we found that when we had to work through a purchasing agent, that they weren't working directly with the food, they didn't see the quality that they were getting and were basically concerned only with the bottom line. Um, when you work with an owner chef, you have someone that's working with the food, that uh, knows what they're getting for their dollar and is willing to pay for it. Some of the things that we've found to be important in dealing with the chefs particularly and also with the uh, stores is to make sure you, you let them know when you have something available uh, and follow through with the phone calls. Um, don't wait for them to call you for an order, but uh, take the initiative and have a regular schedule so that they know when you're going to call and that, that you are going to call. We have regular delivery days so they know exactly when the produce is coming in. And when we agree to deliver something to them, uh, we deliver just that item and in the amount that they, uh, that they asked for. If there is a problem, we can't get something, we've overestimated, then we call them back as soon as possible and let them know what's happening. It's that communication that we've found to be the, the biggest point in, in our marketing. Uh, and over a period of time, when you work with a dozen or so chefs or, or buyers, you build up a personal relationship with them. And uh, that personal re relationship is really what makes the marketing click. A few years ago, we decided to get a computer for the kids' homework, but realized that we could use an accounting program for the farm. This accounting program not only generates the invoices, but it also keeps track of how many pounds of broccoli, heads of lettuce, etc., we've sold over the season. 
at the end of the year, we can then look at which crops we benefited from and which crops we need to drop. The other information we can get from this program is which customers bought over our minimum amount dollars wise and then we can plan the next season's customer list based on that program information. I'm not a business person, I'm not an expert in marketing and I wouldn't even have predicted that I would be in this position in a business. I tend to think of myself more as a creative, artsy person. I guess I'm really a people person too because it's those contacts I've made over the years that I really value and I feel that we are loyal to our customers and they are loyal to us.